Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on getting the cross-processing effect in Photoshop. Um, cross-processing is back from the film days when uh, if you uh, basically if you process something in the wrong chemicals if you uh, had slide film for example is how it usually came about. If you, you had slide film and instead of processing it in slide chemicals you use uh, print film chemicals and it would cause the color to shift and give you this odd look and you know a lot of times it was done accidentally but it became kind of a popular trend especially uh, in I guess 80s 90s but you still see it a lot now it's very similar to the Lomo look that we did uh, a few weeks back but it's slightly different so I'm gonna uh, jump right in here and show you how to do it you're gonna start with your image here we're going to do it down here on an adjustment layer so you're gonna go right here to the little uh, adjustment layer and click curves. So bring up our little curves menu right here. Now what we're going to do in curves is we're going to um, attack each different part individually. If you don't know how to use curves you might there's plenty of curves tutorials on Photoshop but um, you can certainly just follow along and, and feel your way through this thing. Uh, so when you have your image there you're going to start with the red channel. Click on red right here in that box. Then what we're going to try and do is you've got the line here going from your shadows to your highlights. You're basically looking at a histogram here of just the red information. What we want to do is kind of create a little S in here, uh, a little curve. So we're going to click somewhere in here and drag it up that way. And we'll do the opposite down here. And so you can see we're kind of giving it a little bit of an S. And again, it's going to be really up to you. Do you want it to be here? Do you want it to be just a little bit? You're going to have to kind of do it. And it's going to really depend on two different things. It's going to depend on the image that you're using, and it's going to depend on, on your taste. I'm always a fan of doing it a little more than I think it needs, because I can always go back later in opacity and, and dial it back if I think I've gone too far. So I'm going to go a little bit more than I think it needs, about like that. From the red, we're going to jump down to the blue. And with the blue, what I want to do is just kind of tighten things up. I'm going to adjust the contrast, basically. So I'm going to take this here, slide it up in the shadows. I'm going to take the highlight, slide it down a little bit. And you can see it just kind of flattens things out a little bit. Finally, I'm going to go to the green channel. The green channel, I'm going to go ahead and do that, that S shape again. I'm going to go like that. And like that. And there we go. Let's close that up. And let's take a look. So here's our after. There's our before. You can see it definitely gives it a really cool uh, warm look. And um, again, you can go in to, um, if you're not crazy about how this is, you go back in and say, you know what, I think it needs a little more green. Or I want to go back into the blues and tweak these a little bit more like so there you go there's not really a right or wrong answer that's the nice thing is it's not like you're stuck with whatever comes out of the uh, the processing um, you can completely control it and get exactly the look you want so there's our before image there's the after and again if you decide that's too much it's too over the top you just come right here to the opacity dial it down a little bit and I think that's a pretty cool look so uh, give that a try, and uh, again, we're going to start right in here by choosing Curves, which will bring up this, and then just go through your three colors right there and make those adjustments. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know, and check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.